Hello and welcome back to Go Fund Yourself. Today I'm going to explain how to calculate current assets per share for any company. To make this calculation, all we need is to get three numbers from the financial statements of the company. Total liabilities, total assets and outstanding shares. The calculation itself is very easy. We'll subtract the total liabilities from the total assets and then divide that by the shares outstanding. We'll have a look at Palantir's financial statements and do the calculation as an example. In this 170 pages document, all we are looking for is total assets that we take from here and just below it, we find total liabilities as well right here. Then all we have to do is just find out how many total shares does the Palantir have. We will get this information from Yahoo Finance. As you can see, there is a lot of information in share statistics, but the only number we need to care about is shares outstanding. Shares outstanding refers to company stock currently held by all of the shareholders, including share blocks held by institutional investors and restricted shares owned by the insiders and company's officers. Now, when we have all of this information that we need to make the calculation, we can easily find out what is current assets per share. So right here we have a total assets of 2.6 billion minus 1.35 billion from total liabilities. And that is divided by the total share outstanding standing of 1.47 billion shares. And that equals to 0.851 assets per share. It's very important to take liabilities into consideration, especially because net asset value is way more important than the assets held by the company. If the company has a million in assets and two million in liabilities, the company itself is very deep in red. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the cat, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment below. Have a lovely day.